Hi everyone, this is Jenling, and thanks for your interest in our work on learning to augment for casual user recommendation. This work was done while I was interning at Google Brain last summer. At the beginning of this talk, I would like to thank all the team members and the co-authors for their help and the contributions on this work. While well, users visit the online platforms with different activity levels, some may visit the platforms once a month, but some may visit the platform several times a day. And in many platforms, users can be grouped by their activity levels. Core users are those who visit the platforms regularly and consistently, and thus they left many lawn and dance sequences. Meanwhile, there is a huge number of casual users who tend to visit the platform occasionally. The interaction sequences they left in the platforms are usually pretty sparse and irregular. And indeed, making accurate recommendations for this huge group of casual users are important, but also challenging. Sequential recommenders are usually trained predominantly on interaction data from core users. Thus, they often fail to capture the activity patterns of casual users and, as a result, provide less satisfactory recommendations for casual users. In this figure, we evaluate a well-trained self-attention-based recommender on two types of users with various lengths. We can see that for interaction sequences of the same length, the performance on casual users, as shown by blue line, is always worse than that on core users, which is indicated by the red line. This observation demonstrates the difficulty of making accurate recommendation for casual users. Motivated by our data analysis, in this work, we want to achieve the goal in enhancing casual user recommendation. We will center around the research questions on how to enhance the model generalization and bridge the gap between recommendation for casual users and core users. Instead of focusing on modifying the sequential recommendation model, we are thinking whether it is possible to achieve the aforementioned goal from a data augmentation perspective. That is, can we generate some augmented data sequences, or we say synthetic sequences, that can inherit informative transition patterns from core users and also mimic the behavior patterns of casual users? And ultimately, we can improve casual user recommendation without sacrificing core user recommendation. Before going deep into our model design, I would like to evaluate the feasibility of our idea with a data analysis. The most naive way of generating such synthetic data sequences is to randomly drop part of the interactions from core users. So here in this figure, y-axis represents the recommendation performance on casual users. And for the x-axis, starting from the left to the right, dropping percentage is zero means that we change the recommendation model with the original data sequences from both the core users and the casual users. Then we would randomly drop the interactions from core user interaction sequences with various dropping rates. The extreme case is that we drop all the interaction from core users and train the recommendation with data only from casual users. We can see that the recommendation performance for casual user will first increase as we drop the interactions from core users to generate their synthetic data, and then it will decrease as their dropping rate is too high. And the data from core users is always helpful for training a model for casual users. And that's why the worst performance is achieved when we drop all the core user data. We can conclude from this observation that randomly dropping part of the interactions from core users can further improve the performance on casual users. 
and the generated data obtained by such a naive method can work as an interlayer between the core and casual users. So our next question is, can we do more and design a better way to generate the synthetic data sequences to achieve our research goal? In this process, we want to improve the recommendation on casual users, but meanwhile, we don't want to hurt the performance on core users. And we are faced with two major challenges. Firstly, we need to distill informative transition patterns, which can characterize the core users. Meanwhile, we need to generate synthetic data sequences, which can mimic the behavior patterns of casual users. With our research goal and the challenges in mind, we propose L2ARC, the learning to augment framework for improving casual user recommendation. The proposed L2ARC is a model agnostic framework which can work with different sequential recommenders. It is an end-to-end -end framework and at the end of the whole training process, our target model, the recommender, is well trained to achieve good recommendation performance on casual users without sacrificing the performance on core users. And at the same time, the policy learner works as a sequential data augmenter and it learns to generate effective augmented data sequences to achieve our goal. In the next few slides, I will elaborate the detailed design of this proposed L2ARC model. For the data augmenter, given a batch of interaction sequences of core users, its task is to take a series of augmentation actions on the input sequences, for example, whether to keep or drop the interactions. And based on the augmentation actions, it is able to generate the augmented data sequences. The augmented data generated from the um, data augmenter will then be fed into the target model, the recommender, and update the model. Note that we would also randomly sample a small subset of meta-validation sets from the casual user sequences. We test the recommender on this meta-validation set to monitor its performance on casual users. The augmented data sequences will update the recommender, which can lead to performance change on the meta-validation set. This performance change can hint on the effectiveness of the augmented data sequences, and thus it is important guidance signals for the augmenter. Thus, we use it as the reward to guide the policy learning process of the data augmenter. The policy learner and the target model are updated iteratively and reinforce each other in the whole training process. And also, we please note that in the training process, we will inject the original core user sequences as replay to ensure the recommendation on core users. Ultimately, at the end of the whole training process, we will have a well-trained recommender which can obtain improved casual user recommendation without sacrificing core user recommendation. After the introduction of the framework design, now we turn into the experiment to evaluate its effectiveness. We conduct our experiment on different public datasets. We sample three major categories from Amazon datasets and we also test the model on the Goodread dataset, which is crawled from a book review platform. We use the average time gap between users' consecutive interactions to differentiate between casual and core users. In this case, core users are those with average time gaps of less than 30 days, and others are labeled as casual users. For each of the user, we use its last interaction to test the model. Following previous work, which also adopting such a leave one out setup, we used heat rate at K and NDCG at K 
to evaluate the performance of the recommendation. Higher values in hit rate and NDCG means that the model can provide more accurate recommendation. In the experiment, we test LTWARC on three widely used sequential recommendation models. Since there are no previous work focusing on data augmentation for casual users, we compare L2ARC with three different model agnostic treatment methods, which can help to improve casual user recommendation, which include randomly dropping, focused learning, and adversarial rebating. In this table, we summarize the performance of different treatment methods while applied on various sequential recommender. We can see that by combined with various sequential recommendation models, L2ARC, as highlighted by the red box, can outperform all the other treatment methods in improving casual user recommendation. Besides the casual users, we also want to see how L2ARC will influence the recommendation on core users. Here, we compare the recommendation performance on core users with different treatment methods. We can see that even though the baseline treatment methods can improve casual user recommendation, most of them will hurt the recommendation on core user. However, with the replace strategy and the distillation of core user transition patterns, L2ARC will not satisfy the core user recommendation. And in fact, in most of the cases, it can even help to improve core user recommendation. To further investigate the reason why the augmented data sequences can achieve our goal, we visualize the similarity of consecutive items in different user sequences. Comparing the green line and the red line in this plot, we can observe that the consecutive items consumed by core users, as indicated by the red line here, are more similar. And the synthetic sequential data closes the gap between different user groups. And furthermore, L2ARC generates some sequences with high similarity, which help to characterize the patterns of core users. And this specialization further demonstrates why the augmented data sequences can achieve our goal. In fact, L2ARC is flexible in supporting different recommendation models and multiple augmentation actions. Here, in this experiment, we extend the policy learner and add in the substitute action. That is, besides keeping or dropping the interactions in the input sequences, we may replace the item with a similar item. From the plot, we can see that adding this new type of augmentation action can lead to higher recommendation performance on casual users. But as a trade-off, it takes more epochs to converge. Here are something we want to highlight regarding our work. In this paper, we explore and understand the gap between recommendation on casual users and core users. And in this work, we try to bridge such a gap from the data augmentation perspective. And we propose a well-designed learning to augment framework to learn effective augmentation policy. Ultimately, we can improve the recommendation for casual users without sacrificing the performance on core users. And more importantly, the learning to augment framework is model agnostic. It is flexible and compatible with different recommendation models and setups. If you are interested in knowing more details or have any questions regarding the content, please check our paper or contact us. Thank you.